Local businesses are showing their support for the Ukrainian people by refusing to sell Russian goods. Good evening. I'm Paula Evans. And I'm Anaritis Rodriguez. Rodriguez, it is a move that many customers appreciate. But as WBZ's Tiffany Chan shows us, some Ukrainian natives say a boycott is only the first step. It wasn't an easy decision, but the owners of Bazaar Supermarket in Boston say they can no longer be silent. We are against war. Our hearts are with the people in Ukraine. They posted this note on their doors, telling customers they'll be pulling Russian goods and imports from the shelves. We would like this war to stop. This is the reason. This is the only one reason. This is our part. This is what we can do. I'm sure that there are going to be some people who will tell us who will not come here. They've also seen a show of support from customers like Joanne Parker, who came to shop and to stand with Ukraine. It's really going to be hard. It's rough. And we just all have to stick together. Rostislav Penik emigrated here in 1998 and knows the pain of this war all too well. The owner of Pit Stop Barbecue here in Wakefield is clearly from Ukraine. He has a flag hanging proudly above his business. He says thoughts and prayers are nice, but they don't go far enough. What helps is personal protection, weapons, uh, aid, uh, medical supplies. That what helps. The longer our government in the United States that waits, the more people will die. What also helps is compassion for those fleeing for their lives in Penex's home country. But the biggest thing is right now refugees, making sure they're taken care of in the West, the Western Ukraine. While supporting Ukrainian businesses here is appreciated, it's only a part of the solution. Not only us, but also like on political side, on diplomacy side. They, they, we all need to make this effort and to, you know, to have it stop. From Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News. Some